tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to Tennis Now Instructionals where today we're going to be talking about the approach shot. Now nothing pains me more as a coach than seeing somebody set the point up perfectly and then they get the short ball and they hand the point back to their opponent on a silver platter with a blown approach shot. We've all been there, right? So what are we going to do to make sure your approach shot is the solid, reliable shot that you want it to be? First step, you have to make sure you're getting to the ball at the very top of the bounce before it starts dropping down. Some of you are probably thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Because it's a whole lot more comfortable to hit the ball right here in my strike zone. I hear where you're coming from, but getting the ball at the top of the bounce has two major benefits. First, it's going to force you to get to that ball as quickly as possible. And then second of all, if you're making contact up here, you're going to be able to hit that ball on the line. When you're letting it drop down into your strike zone, you're having to brush up the back of it, you're creating that rainbow trajectory that gets your opponent a whole lot more time to set up and potentially blow that passing shot right by you. So how are you gonna work on making contact with the ball up here? You're gonna have to start your stroke a little bit higher. As you can see, if I'm starting down here like I would for a regular ground stroke and the ball's up here, this is gonna cause some problems, right? That ball's probably gonna hit the back fence. So what I need to do is start my point of origin up a little bit higher, but notice one thing. My hand is still nice and relaxed. My racket is almost below the level of my hand. As Soon as you tighten up and this starts to happen, we're gonna start to see that high to low stroke. That will never work on your approach shot, no matter how tempting it is to hit. So I'm just starting up a little higher. My racket face is almost just like an extension of my palm. I'm gonna be brushing from high to even higher with the help of my legs. Next step, you have to learn how to run forward and turn at the same time. Some of you just heard me say, get that ball at the top of the bounce, and you're gonna be running in kamikaze style with this arm flailing out here, completely disconnected from the rest of your body. As you might imagine, that's gonna be a tough approach shot to execute. So this is what you have to learn how to do. You have to identify the approach shot, go, 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 and then turn as you run. And you saw there, I had time to take a few little adjustment steps. You're not always gonna have time to do that. Sometimes the approach shot is a really, it's a bang, bang play. But more often than not, it's gonna be floating here. It's gonna be bouncing up to its peak and you're gonna have time to adjust before you load up and push off into the court. Last step, you have to have a target. On the approach shot though, it's a really easy process. Almost, yeah, I would say maybe 90% of the time, your target is gonna be down the line. So on my forehand, I'm gonna load up and push straight into the back of that ball, right down the line. Same thing on the backhand side. It gives your opponent a whole lot less angles to work with, and even better, you know where you're aiming before you've even hit the shot. So it really takes that part out of the equation. It gives you one less thing to think about. So I'm gonna hit a few just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. That's all for today's Tennis Now Instructional. Thanks so much for joining us. Go out, practice those approach shots, get them at the top of the bounce. Let me know how it goes in the comment section. I'm happy to answer questions if I can. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.